Hi Beach and welcome back to my channel. I got another Dolls Kill haul coming right at you. I will be trying on and reviewing products from the Looney Tunes Dolls Kill collaboration as well as two pieces from the Powerpuff Girls Dolls Kill collaboration. Okay, I'm super excited to show you all of these out of this world super stellar looks that I have put together. I have also coordinated with a wig and eye makeup, okay? When I was a young girl, I was a tomboy. I did not know anything about the world of makeup. I would put it on, but not like this. Not real womanly, beautifully like this. My eye makeup probably looks like trash. Don't come for me. And the way I put this lace front wig on, mm, don't come for me, especially when I turn around. And as usual, you'll find names, links, and sizes to all of the products from this video in the description box down below, as well as my current measurements for your viewing reference. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. We're gonna pop this haul off with this lazy girl sweatpants, sweatshirt, little outfit with Marvin Martian as the print on it. The material is really soft on the outside and it's really soft on the inside. It's this kind of like fleece material underneath and same thing with the joggers. They also have pockets. We are pumped about pockets. I don't know about you, but I feel like women don't get a whole lot of sweats or bottoms that actually have pockets to put your things in, okay? Cause we had a lot of things and I don't know about y'all, I hate having to lug around a heavy ass purse because I carry my life in my purse. You know, if I could put a little, you know, a couple little things in my pockets, that would be fantastic. You know what I mean? Obviously there's a contrast here. It's all green and Marvin is black and white. I don't know. I really like the contrast. I really like this print and this is the perfect lazy girl outfit. So I got this Marvin Martian sweater. It is super, super soft. Just like the sweatshirt, just like these joggers. I mean, guys, this is perfect lazy girl outfits. You know, we're soft, cozy, warm underneath here. No, got a little belly button action here. But it has Marvin on the front. There's stars on the sleeves. And you know, stars are my favorite shape. I know that's weird, but I don't care. I love stars, okay? I told you this haul was gonna be out of this world. And this is why I have no friends. So I wasn't able to get my hands on a whole lot of the Powerpuff Girl collaboration collection, but I did get at least two items from the collection. This being a cropped wife beater. Pretty sure we're not supposed to use that term anymore, but I'm just gonna use it here. Everyone is gonna be offended. Leave a dislike. But it's this cute little crop tank top. It's stretchy, material is soft. It says Powerpuff Girls on the front. I don't know about y'all and you probably don't even know this, but there were, I believe three Powerpuff Girls games. I want to say on the Game Boy or Game Boy Advance. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I had all those games. There's a Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup game. So come fight me. I'm a 90s child. I'm also wearing a bra underneath this and it's a strapless bra and you can probably see the outline or the color. I don't care. The girls are covered and the girls need support. The Powerpuff Girls, they need support. Fight me, fight me. Come over here and fight me. Guys, this is like the ultimate lazy girl haul. I love everything that I got because they are all lazy girl outfits. We got this Powerpuff Girls dress t-shirt. All the girls. Yep. Yep. I love it. It's very loose fitting. It's not like skin tight or anything. It's just regular cotton material. It's just so freaking comfortable. But this was the other Powerpuff Girl collaboration item that I was able to get my hands on. My final lazy girl outfit. It's a night shirt and boxer short set. It's nice and satiny smooth. We got Bugs Bunny, Wiley Coyote on here, Road Runner, Daffy Duck, Sylvester the Cat, and Marvin Martian. We got them covered. We got them covered. Don't look at my ratchet as we, we got it covered. We got all of them. You could probably wear this button up shirt as a night shirt. I mean, for me at least, it's really long. So it's long enough for me just to wear as a night shirt. And the only reason why I have it buttoned all the way up is I want you to see how many buttons and how much 
coverage you'll get wearing this. Not that it matters when you're going to bed. And I love the boxer shorts. They are super comfortable and they don't restrict my thighs. The material isn't stretchy because it's, it's that satin material. Just so you know, if you're a little thicker in the legs, like your girl, you might need to go up size. Maybe, possibly. As an athlete, I absolutely love clothing inspired by athletic uniforms and different sports. This is a baseball tee, shirt, dress. The buttons go all the way up. Girl, this is full coverage, unless you know you wanna undo some buttons, you know, loosen up the girls a little bit. The material is heavy. Like, I mean, this is amazing, thick material. Let me, let me get up in here. Yeah, real thick, sturdy material. Obviously, this is a Looney Tunes team baseball shirt. Okay, we got our star players over here. We got Bugs Bunny, Wiley Coyote, Road Runner, Taz, and Marvin Martian at the bottom. This is my last and fanciest Marvin Martian ensemble. It's one of those mesh dresses with Marvin Martian all over it. It's the same print as the joggers and sweatshirt from the very beginning of this haul. It's that mesh material all along it. And it kind of has a lining. I wouldn't really say this is like a real lining, but underneath it, it has white stretchy spandexy material. So it's not completely see-through. However, there is still visibility between the buttons. I almost fell just now. As you can see, the buttons kind of open up just a little bit. And I think it has to do with the spacing of the buttons. So just be mindful of the underoos that you're deciding to wear underneath this. I don't think it's sheery. I know this is like a white lining type of thing and that can be sheery if you're wearing darker colors underneath it, but just so y'all know, and we got the finger holes up in here. I just realized that these would be difficult to go out in and actually use to hold drinks and food. And this is the first time I'm realizing that. At least you can unbutton these finger holes. There, because spirit fingers. I love that it's form fitting and it can definitely stretch out a little bit more, but the more it stretches, the more space that's gonna happen with these buttons. You know what I'm talking about more exposure. And I also have this cute little lunchbox inspired purse. It's an over the shoulder purse. If I can get my weave off that, not a weave, wig. I absolutely love this. It was so freaking cute on the site. Like I had to have this. It has that lunch pail handle. Like it's actually that plastic and it's got the glittery patch work going on here. Anyway, this, this feels real nice is what I'm trying to say. It comes with a zip on the back. You have to break this one in a little bit because yeah, I mean, you're gonna get it and it's gonna be extra firm. And I don't know how much creasing over time that means in here. Of course the strap is adjustable. So this is what the, let me move back. That's a lot of light. This is the inside of the bag. There is a little pouch pocket in here. There's a lot of room for things, even though I would prefer to put those things in my pockets. Full circle. This last outfit is the most appropriate way to end this haul. It's our Saturday morning cartoons, our Looney Tunes on this dress. The top layer is mesh material. There is a black slip underneath, if I can get to it, there we go, underneath. So you're covered, girl. It's not see-through, you're covered. It has little finger holes. So I tried my best to look at this pattern to see if most of the Looney Tunes are on this. I'm gonna just riddle off Looney Tunes I know that are gonna be on this and maybe some that are missing. So don't come for me. Okay, we got Daffy Duck somewhere on here. We got Bugs Bunny. We got Wiley Coyote, Road Runner, Porky Pig up in here. What's that big red furry abominable one? 
I think it's like Gossamer, Gossamer. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know who I'm talking about. Speedy Gonzalez. Did I say Daffy Duck? I probably did. Elmer Fudd, Pepe Le Pew. Actually, is that? No, never mind. Sorry. I thought I saw Speedy Gonzalez for a moment and I got super excited. Oh, and Marvin Martian, obviously, on here. That's all of them that come to the forefront of my mind. The sides on this dress are ruched, so you can actually tighten to shorten the dress up on each side. Do what you want with it. Let my butt look cute. It's form fitting, it's stretchy. I love these kinds of dresses from Dolls Kill. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know in the comments down below which product or outfit was your favorite or least favorite from this video and definitely shout out to all my 90s babies please let me know which was your favorite looney tune character i think that's a very reasonable question to ask pretty sure tweety was my favorite and remember to watch the curve on your way out